and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Kevin and I will be talking about the flex feature. Whenever you need to bend, twist, taper, or stretch parts, and you need to be able to define a value to bend them at or stretch them at, this is where the flex feature will come into play. Today in my example, we're going to bend up a sissy bar for a motorcycle. If you look at my example sissy bar, it's actually made up of three flex features where I've bent this particular piece of bar stock three times. Let's take a look at how that's done. If you initiate the flex command, it can be found under insert, features, flex, or if you hit your S key and add it to your shortcut toolbar, you can access flex there as well. Now flex is made up of all the tools built into one single command. So I can bend, twist, taper, or stretch bodies within parts or assemblies. So first thing I need to do is select the body that I'm going to perform the operation on. Choose whether I'm going to bend, twist, taper, or stretch. I have exact numerical controls to specify to the model how much I'm going to bend, twist, taper, or stretch. But there's two other components that are very important. One is called the triad. You can see the triad at the center of my graphics area. We see this a lot in SOLIDWORKS. This triad allows us to control the axis that we're performing the bending. So I can grab and move the axis. I can rotate the axis to tell the software exactly how I'm going to bend this. I can also right click and reset that if I've made any changes. The other aspect of this is these things called the trim plane. The trim plane dictates where or what portion of the model is going to be bent. So let's take this model and let's bend it at 180 degrees. Again, a quantifiable value. If I want to change the trim plane or the area being bent, I could just grab the arrow at the trim plane and you can see as I drag it up the body that the portion outside the trim plane is no longer bent. If I wanted to give an exact value, in our case this is 30 inches from the end, I can control exact locations of those trims. So there's my very first flex, 180 degree bend. Let's go ahead and initiate a second flex. I need to flex uh, the rounded off top portion of this particular model. I'm going to again come in here, I'm going to grab my axis, we're going to rotate this at 90 degrees. Sometimes when you're rotating you just type in an exact value under the triad to get it exactly right. I want to limit where I'm going to perform the bend. So I drag my trim plane up, so only bending between the two trim planes. And now the triad in this case becomes very important. Uh, my bend axis is located on the triad. So what I'm able to do if you right click on the triad is I can actually align it to the planes, the trim planes. I can move this to trim plane two. Now when I go grab the other trim plane and I drag it, not using the arrows, but using the border of the plane, I can actually see how it's going to flex the part. Okay. If we look at uh, my example sissy bar that we had here, you can see that I had a third flex, again, taking that same bottom portion and flexing it to some value. Another great thing about the flex command is that the dimensions are all available. If I double click on the feature, I can control the trim plane, the angles available to us. Not to be outdone, the flex command can also uh, twist and I'm going to show taper as well. So let's say I wanted to twist this. I have a nozzle with straight holes through it. Let's take this. Uh, let's rotate our axis that we're going to bend along using the axis in the graphics area or specifying an exact value telling it I want to twist this model at 90 degrees and the result as you'll see are the holes going through are twisted. If I wanted to taper the part, I could select the part I wanted to taper. Once again, typing in a value or rotating the planes. 
and I could tell the software how I wanted to taper the particular part by value being typed in. What's also nice is here's a good example of what the trim plane does. As I drag this down, you can see the taper changes. Thanks for stopping in to view another CAD Dimensions tech tip, and we hope to see you soon. Thank you. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.